Hi everyone, I'm going to do a quick check in to see um, what is going on in the collective today and this weekend. So firstly I'm going to pull a card for Divine Masculines overall and we have Endings and Abundance and on the bottom we have Beginnings. So Divine Masculines currently, I'll just turn this down a little bit, Divine Masculines currently are um, faced with endings, um, they know that abundance is coming but as a result of these endings there are new beginnings which are taking place in their life. Um, and the Divine Masculines are really kind of like feeling this happening now. So there is a mixture um, in their emotions between kind of like, not necessarily sadness, but just kind of like the way you feel when something ends, just kind of like knowing that, you know, a chapter has closed and they're looking back on the memories and the past. Um, and even though they see this beginning open up in front of them, which they know will lead to abundance, there's still a sense of missing the past um, and wanting to go back there. But the universe has well and truly closed that door now. Um, they they feel like they've broken something. So with this ending, they feel like they've kind of, they might have made a mistake, but they broke something that they wanted um, to keep. But they might have said something which has hurt their counterpart, or they might have just missed an opportunity. This abundance card is very much for divine feminines being aware that abundance is coming. So even with this ending, no matter how the divine masculines are feeling, the divine feminines still feel like abundance is coming and it's on its way. Um, this beginning is, I'm hearing that as the divine feminines are turning away and moving on with their life, that's what's bringing about this new beginning for both of you. Okay, I'm just going to check in on how the divine masculines are viewing their divine feminines. Seven of Wands. Um, I think I got that in the daily readings on my Instagram page today as well. So the Divine Masculines are seeing how hard the Divine Feminines are working. Um, but this is becoming very, very balanced. The scales are balancing out between you both. There is some kind of clarity. And the Divine Masculines know that the Divine Feminines want them to be in their King of Pentacles energy. Um, they feel the need to rest. There's been a lot that's gone on and um, whilst they are working on filling their own cup and balancing out this connection, balancing these scales, there's still a need for the Divine Masculines to rest with this ending that's happened. They do feel left out in the cold. Um, but I feel like the universe is working hard with them now to bring about this Ten of Pentacles. So we've got the Divine Masculines being kind of unsure um, about what the next step is they're not they're not looking ahead they're looking down they don't really know um, you know what the next next step is for you both but they know that they want this ten of pentacles for their divine feminines and they know that they have to be the one to take action and bring that offer of love with a strength card here I really see the divine masculines are kind of becoming a lot stronger in themselves this is them moving into that king of pentacles energy I'm just going to do, just urge to do some of these for the Divine Feminines. So let's see what we have for the Divine Feminines. Transformation. So Divine Feminines are going through a period of transformation. Again, we have that Abundance card and Balance. So there's a lot of kind of like black and white in these pictures here with the Transformation um, and the Balance card. So this is for Divine Feminines balancing out their own masculine and feminine energy. Um, and this is completely transforming the connection. Again, we've got the Abundance card that's right in the middle for both the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines. So there are very much brighter days coming. Um, there's positive changes on the way. Okay, how are the Divine Feminines viewing their Divine Masculines at this time? King of Cups. So the Divine Feminines are very much seeing their Divine Masculines as this loving um, man in their life. They know the Divine Masculines are bringing balance to this connection and here I'm feeling like they know that no matter how far apart you two go from each other, um, you're always going to come back together because this is eternal. Divine Feminines, I'm hearing tears, there's been some tears shed over this connection, um, which Spirit is telling me is an understatement. 
there's been an overflow of emotion. Um, but there is a new beginning coming and things will become a lot more peaceful now. Mercury retrograde is nearly over. We do not have long to go. I feel like once once Mercury retrograde is um you know, is kind of like not in the picture anymore, that things are gonna start moving forward. We have that King of Pentacles. Um this King of Pentacles is gonna emerge at the end of March. So once Mercury is um moving forwards again, we have a King of Cups being transformed into the King of Pentacles. So this is the man who feels a lot of love for their divine feminine but is not stable enough to offer this new beginning. However, very soon we have the King of Pentacles and let's see what the King of Pentacles is going to bring. He's going to come to his Queen of Swords and start a journey towards her. Um, this Queen of Swords, she has very much been like, okay, Divine Masculine, your move, what's next? What are you going to bring to this connection? What are you going to do for us? Um, and the truth is, he's ready now. With his, with his King of Pentacles, he is now ready to give you that clarity, to give you that answer. He's uh, he's not waiting around anymore. He's getting ready to start that journey. Again, with the Seven of Wands, um, today in my reading on Instagram, I, re I got the message that the Seven of Wands is very much the last stone placed in a very stable foundation. So that's what this is about. That stable foundation, union, reunion. Um, the angels are very much around you and supporting you. And that is what is helping bring you two together. That emotional beginning here, this is really interesting actually. So at the start we have the King of Cups, which is currently how the Divine Feminine is viewing the Divine Masculine. This is a, um, you know, this is the Divine Masculine in their King energy. But this new beginning is very, very emotional. There's, you know, an overfill of emotions. Here with the King of Pentacles, we have that stability that the Divine Feminine desires here. And with that reunion, we have Ace of Pentacles, which is a solid, secure, stable offer. And we have the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So there's a lot of kings in this energy. So the Divine Feminines really are seeing the Divine Masculines as a king, as someone who's very, very stable and secure um, and in their power. Okay, we're going to see... Um, what is kind of going on between you two right now so we'll first get a card for the divine masculines communication is key so divine masculines they might be getting ready to communicate but either way they know that this is not going to move forward until there's been communication um divine feminines you're being asked now to surrender to the divine so the divine masculines are working on this communication uh, they're also they're realizing that they are twin flames gemini is the sign of twin flames so the divine masculines are realizing that you two are twin flames and they now need to communicate something with their divine feminine let's see what this communication is all about balance spirituality and practicality pisces is also like a very romantic sign so this is about um Divine Feminines, you need to work on balancing out this connection. You're the one who can ground this connection through meditation. Um, luck is on your side. So Divine Masculines, when you get ready to communicate, luck is on your side. Um, believe in the impossible and be bold and make the first move. So that is currently what Spirit is wanting the Divine Masculines to do. But let's see you know because they might not take that action so let's see what is going on behind the scenes up there in the 5d a fiery climax approaches a time for healing the answers you need are coming and adjustments are required so in the 5d here we do have a climax approaching so this might be if you two keep resisting this connection or either way i'm hearing that spirits no longer allowing this to continue as it is we saw in the Divine Masculine reading that there has been an ending, there's a new beginning ready. Um, the answers you need are coming and these are answers either from your Divine Masculine or from your higher selves of the universe. So either way, whatever answers it is that you need, they are coming. It is now a time for action after there's been this healing. So first of all, there is going to be um, a time for healing for you to process and this healing time is going to bring about the adjustments which are required and once those adjustments have been made there is going to be action we're going to ask for one final card you're very close to achieving your goal so 
once we've had these healing and adjustments are made, we do have action. And then once this action is taken, you're very close to achieving your goal. And already in my head, I know that, that goal is nothing less than a secure, stable, committed relationship. Let's look at what is going on currently. This situation involves marriage. So this is a very, very committed relationship. I'm also seeing the way the Divine Feminine is looking at the Divine Masculine in this picture. Um, and Spirit are saying she's waiting for him to make the move. You're both ready to give this relationship a chance, but the Divine Feminine is very much waiting for the Divine Masculine to make a move and express his feelings, show the passion that he feels for his Divine Feminine. Really just, really just like, you know, taking her by surprise, you know, when she's not looking, just take her by surprise and um, kiss her, show her that passion, show her that love. You two are twin flames, this is a soulmate connection and there is absolutely no escaping that. Um, with the children card here, I see that your spirit babies or, you know, children that you currently have are helping this connection. Keep an open mind. Um, and here we can just see the angel above supporting this relationship. So do keep an open mind and allow this to unfold, you know, as you both planned before you incarnated. You cannot micromanage this connection. You can't control how this is going to come about. So just surrender any expectations and let it unfold naturally. Okay, we're going to look at the Divine Feminines currently. Um, their current energy hermit two of cups and six of cups so divine feminines you are very much um going within focus on your spirituality because you know you are desiring the union with your divine masculine that six of cups you're nurturing your inner child um some of you are being guided to do that so that might be a block for you so do go within nurture your inner child um but union is very much in your current energy Let's see the Divine Masculines. We have the Emperor card. So the Divine Masculines current energy. We have the Emperor. The Sun. And the Seven of Wands yet again. So with the Emperor card I really see that the Divine Masculines are kind of stepping up and taking power in this connection. The Sun positive changes are coming. Um, Divine Masculines are currently using this, this Emperor energy. This um, authority and power to plan how they're going to take action and come towards their Divine Feminine. Um, and the Seven of Wands is them working hard for this connection. So they're working hard now to bring this about. Let's see what guidance or blocks we have for the Divine Feminines. Okay. Three of Wands, the Magician, Six of Swords and Queen of Cups. So, Divine Feminines... I see this as the woman in the two of cups, I see that as a person in the queen of cups. So divine feminines, you are waiting for that union to come in. You're there with your cup, ready for your divine masculine to come towards you with his cup and offer you that union. Um, six of swords and three of wands. So I see that you're waiting for kind of your, your ship to come in so that you can both move forwards and progress with this relationship. The magician, you're worried that your manifestations are not paying off. but Spirit wants you to know that they are. It's just it's just taking time. Um, you set your intentions, um, pray, wish, however you kind of like put about your manifestations, and then just let go. And you just keep moving yourself forward with your life, and the universe is going to do the rest. Divine masculine's guidance and um, or blocks. Ace of Swords, strength. And six of pentacles. So Divine Masculines, you're being guided to have the strength, be independent, courageous and see this through. Um, there needs to be clarity. There needs to be some kind of communication that brings clarity. Um, you need to give something to your Divine Feminine to, to keep this balance in this relationship. Because there's only so much she can do behind the scenes without seeing physical evidence. If she continues to not see physical evidence of union, you know, that is going to put her, uh, put doubts in her mind. And, um, you know, right now, you two, there's a good energy between you. You're in your Emperor. 
energy, Divine Feminines are very much ready for union, Divine Masculines you're planning to return, but if there isn't some kind of clarity or communication soon um, and you don't give your Divine Feminine something physical in the 3D, then you know we don't know what the outcome is going to be, we don't know how this is going to affect her energy, but it's definitely not going to keep her vibrations high. Okay, what can the Divine Feminines expect to see soon? Four of Pentacles. Um, I'm just hearing solid foundation. Wheel of Fortune. Oh. And the Karma card. So things are very much moving. Um, this hangs man, which is on the bottom of the deck. This is very much kind of like where you've been stuck before, but now things are moving. You're no longer in this hangs man energy because there is a stable foundation being built. And I'm hearing that you're ready to put your feet on the ground. No more of this kind of like hanging upside down on a tree. You're ready to finally put your feet firmly on the ground and start taking action and moving forwards. You know that this is coming together as it's meant to. With the karma card here, I really just see celebrations. You're fully trusting the universe. You know that you're being supported and that they are helping both you and your divine masculine come together. Um, there feels like a lot of surrendering here in the Divine Feminine's energy. So even though currently she feels union close and she's ready for her Divine Masculine to return here with the Six of Cups, I do feel with the Hermit card that she's quite happy going within and just working on herself um, until this comes about. She's quite content in her Queen of Cups energy. Let's see what the Divine Masculines can expect to see. And we have the Hermit card. So whilst the Divine Feminines are currently going within, we have the Divine Masculines are then going to decide to go within themselves as well. Um, this is what they're working hard towards. They're working hard to find answers um, and to have the strength to bring that honest communication and that, that gift to their Divine Feminine. They're going to have to go within themselves um, because there's something that this Hermit needs to discover within himself. The Divine Masculines need to, um, need to understand something. They need to trust their intuition and balance their own energy. They need to balance the black and the white, the masculine and the feminine energy. Um, and they need to kind of realise what is around them that is blocking this connection. I'm just going to um, ask for a couple more for the divine masculine. Because I feel like there's more of a story here that we need to explore. So what is this kind of like high priestess about? Okay, the intuition is about the Divine Masculines knowing that in the past they have not been good enough for their Divine Feminine. Um, the Divine Feminine was waiting for a serious offer and they did not provide it. Um, divine Masculines are feeling like they missed an opportunity, but they're going within themselves to trust their intuition and receive messages and guidance from the higher self that the past is the past and whatever it is that was a missed opportunity, um, that's not the end. This is a continuous journey. We'll see what this missed opportunity was about. Okay, so the Divine Masculines, they weren't ready. Their guard was still up. They weren't ready for a new beginning before. Um, and they feel like they missed a chance with this new beginning with their Divine Feminine. They feel like they should have ended things sooner. So those of you with karmic, in karmic situations, it feels like they should have ended things sooner. Um, and taken that leap of faith and brought in that, that Ace of Pentacles, that stable offer. However, they are going to still be doing this. It's just going to take time. They're just going to have to go within and heal um, some of this energy. Three of Wands is back. So Divine Masculines are getting ready to start a journey. They are ready to fulfil their wishes. Um, so the wishes that you you both have made, they are ready to kind of bring those about into the 3D. Four of Pentacles again. So they're ready for this stable, stable solid foundation. Um, they're ready to walk away from, from anything that's been holding them back. Divine Feminines, let's have a see what you can do to help your Divine Masculines. Strength. So whilst they're being guided to have strength as well, you're also being asked now to, uh, to really believe in this connection with the Ace of Cups. Believe that this new beginning is, you know, is round the corner. Have strength um, and have fun. As you have fun, your Divine Masculine is going to be healing himself he's not going to feel like he's let you down the more kind of like 
upset the Divine Feminine is, the more the Divine Masculine is going to be focusing on this missed opportunity. Um, so really kind of like work on yourself to go and have fun, be independent, live your own life, and then we'll see things coming together. Interesting, we've got the Death card here. So this is permanent changes. Um, I'm also hearing that the Divine Masculines are getting ready to catch up with their Divine Feminines. They're ready to bring about this wish fulfillment. And the Page of Cups, there is an offer of love coming in. There might be some inner child work that needs to be done by the Divine Feminine. And that's going to help this connection along. So there is some kind of like inner child healing work, some meditation. Just reconnecting with your inner child. Um, that is going to help this connection. It's going to help the Divine Masculines move forwards. It feels like a really positive reading so far, though. It doesn't feel like there's any kind of like big blocks. I'm going to pull some spirit animal cards to kind of find out so what's going on with the divine masculines at the moment and the divine feminines. This one. Okay, so divine masculines, magic works through you. So. Um, the Divine are working directly with the Divine Masculines to bring about this relationship. Um, there are two sides to every story. The Dolphin Spirit, this and that are true. And I just feel like they're, they're getting ready to communicate. Um, sorry, that's what Spirit are telling me. The Divine Masculines are connecting with the Divine to get ready to communicate. However, they're also realising that things that they might have felt um, aren't necessarily true so if they felt like you two couldn't be together um, in this lifetime or you two weren't right for each other they're realizing that that's not necessarily true just because you two have arguments and clashes and conflicts doesn't mean that you aren't destined to be together doesn't mean that these can't be worked through divine feminines tend to the small things so if you don't feel like you are ready to kind of like face the world and take on any like big challenges do not worry, um, just focus on what you can do. So if you're feeling like you're struggling to get out of bed today or um, if everything is just quite hard and intense at the moment, take time out. Um, you don't have to take big action all at once. Be loyal to what you love. So Divine Feminine, some of you are on the verge of giving up. I'm hearing you kind of, you, you feel like you've put so much effort into this and you feel like you can't see things in the physical and you want to give up and um, you know see other people or just not continue on this twin flame journey go within yourself meditate release your negativity and um, stay loyal because this is gonna this is gonna pay off be loyal to yourself so what is it you love you know make time for that Okay, I'm going to look now at the bigger picture, so what is happening between both twin flames, that antelope, this antelope will not leave me alone, life is speeding up, so everything is speeding up right now between the, um, wow, um, these cards have been coming out a lot recently, so everything is speeding up now between the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines, and that is because the Divine Masculine is number four, Badge Spirit, this also, um, is the same as the Emperor card that came out before. So the Divine Masculines are getting ready to be fearless and bold and take control of the situation and, um, you know, put that light, turn that light to green. So um, getting ready for action. And the last one, Cow Spirit, the miracles are endless. Um, there is so much positivity that is gonna come from you two when you come together. And the Divine Masculines are getting ready to bring that communication in and that clarity so divine feminines all you need to do right now is just look after yourself clear the energy and stay loyal um to this journey because if you do the divine masculines are going to be taking action and everything's everything is speeding up um towards union now the miracles are endless so you really have nothing to worry about all those doubts you're having both of you are having about you know is this going to pay off are we going to stay together yes anything you believe is possible so make sure you you know you align with that positivity okay i'm gonna not use these for quite a while but kind of being told to use them to find out what is going on between the collective first card we have the nine of cups um so both of you are getting your wish fulfillment um there's going to be communication coming in i'm hearing and it's going to be balanced. It's going to be balanced communication, but it might be emotional. Queen of Swords. 
Divine feminines are ready to communicate their truth, but it's from the heart this time. Previously, they might have been quite harsh with their words, um, but they're ready now to speak honestly, but from from a more positive place. There are endings taking place right now, so the old the old is gone. There's nothing to worry about, like the past repeating, because it's not going to repeat. With the Nine of Pentacles card here, um, I feel like there are um, there's so much positivity that's happening. So Divine Feminines, you need to make sure that you're having fun and embracing this. Um, you're very much in your queen energy and that's here to stay now. I don't feel like you're going to be knocked off course now. The Lovers card. So Union is strongly on both of your minds right now. Um, and you're ready to manifest this. You're ready for this new beginning. Um, you both have everything it takes now to bring this relationship together. It's just a matter of time and if you... If you're both resisting this, I feel like the divine are going to keep pushing you. They're going to keep pushing you two together. Um, fate cannot be avoided. They're saying, they're saying, do not try and resist this because um, you can't resist it. This is your destiny. So I'm pushing you towards each other, towards this relationship. Um, I'm going to be, they said that they're going to, every dream you have, you're going to be um, seeing each other or... Everywhere you look, you're going to see their name or hear songs um, that mean something to both of you. They're not letting you escape this connection now. That King of Pentacles, so the Divine Masculine is very much going to be in their King of Pentacles energy. Um, very, very stable and grounded. Six of Cups. So, wishes are coming true. Um, the last cup is being filled, they're saying, so... Whatever it is that has been missing from this connection, that is what is being, um, that's what's being filled right now and it's not going to be long. It's a matter of time and then things are going to bloom between you. This relationship is really going to blossom. You're working hard now and that's going to pay off. Divine Feminines, look away. We're going to, don't know why Spirit wants you to look away. Let's see why. The world, look away because things have been completed um, and they're getting ready for action okay message here divine feminines look away your divine masculine is very loyal to you here um that's what kind of like the dog symbolizes to me it's loyalty and um, the divine masculines i'm hearing um they've got they've got the world for you <laughs> so they are getting ready to walk this tightrope back towards you look away because when you aren't looking that's when they're going to approach you and they're going to approach you with the world they're offering you everything everything you dreamed of that's what's being offered to you but know that it's not been easy for them to get there this has been hard for them okay there's a few cards that want to come out king of cups that is that offer of love that's being made to their queen um Five of Pentacles, there has been, I mean, there are people who do not want you two to be together. There are people who've tried to block this connection, who've tried to say, no, she isn't right for you, he isn't right for you, this relationship isn't right. Um, but that is being completely ignored. They're saying, you know, there's a reason why you two broke up. Um, you hurt each other, there was heartbreak here. Um... You know, you were so cut up about this breakup. That is what this these people have been trying to say. But the Knight of Swords, I do see action being taken towards you. So regardless of what these people have said, that is what has caused um, one or both of you to need to go within yourselves and nurture yourself again. To work out what is being said is true and what is being said um you know, they don't understand what's going on between you. They don't understand twin flames. And that's what you're both realising now. Is that whatever the people see um, and have said to you both. They don't understand the bigger picture. Seven of Cups. I'm hearing the Divine Masculines are getting ready to take action towards the Divine Feminine. And offer that cup of love. And when they bring that cup of love to you. Um, like I said before. They have had... To work so hard they have been through so much to get to this place so when that offer comes to you please know how much the divine masculines have been through if 
I'm actually hearing from spirit that their journey has been harder than the divine feminines. They have been through so much more um, kind of like pain and they have not had the same support that the divine feminines have had. Divine feminines, you might have had friends that have been around you or family that have looked after you. The divine masculine is saying they didn't have that. They didn't have anyone to talk to about this. Um, I'm actually feeling quite emotional. Like the divine masculines I'm channeling were really, really heartbroken and they didn't have the support that they needed. Um, and that's why it's taken them so long to heal this heartbreak because they have, they have been through so much. And the journey they have been on, they have a complete new perspective. They're getting ready, they are seeing clearly now and they're getting ready to communicate um, what they see. They're putting that burden down, balancing out this connection and they're bringing you two together. That's what this is about, putting this burden down and this burden is what they've been through. That's what they want me to really get across in this message. Um, when they are coming to you, you know, with this world, when they are making you this offer of the world, please do not underestimate the journey they have been on because it has been so hard for them. They have not been supported. They have not had people to turn to, to talk to. They haven't had a community um, where they felt that they could express themselves and talk about this connection and their strong feelings towards their divine feminine. No one else understands this relationship, they're saying. The divine masculine is saying no one else understands their feelings, even their parents. They don't understand why they don't understand why they can't just move on um some of them have been told that you know this is just what love feels like you'll move on you'll find someone else but they know that they aren't meant to be with anyone else and that's what they've had to work through is that no one else has been there to listen to them and to help them through this no one else truly understands um why they can't be with anyone else but having said that they're coming through the other side, they're very much at the end of that cycle and they have gained a new perspective, they're bringing that balance and they're bringing in that union with the Two of Cups. Justice and the Chariot, interestingly these are the, these are the cards for my Zodiac and my um, Twin Flame Zodiac, Libra and Cancer. Um, things are moving, this is balanced. Um, Prosperity lies ahead. There is so much abundance coming your way. Um, action is now being taken. So as soon as the divine masculines have this, have found the balance within themselves, they're going to be taking, they're going to be taking action, um, moving away from the feeling of betrayal and hurt, and having that new beginning. There's going to be communication coming in. Um, not sure when. Okay, um, definitely in the next month. So within the next four four weeks I'm hearing um, they you're both probably going to be going through some feelings of like feeling quite anxious or struggling to sleep um, because of the intensity of missing each other right now and um, now you're coming out of the other side of this and the divine masculines have been completely transformed there is going to be a longing for each other so make sure you stay grounded knight of cups go with the flow completely surrender to the universe um divine masculines are in their king energy they're very much on their way home you've both completely ascended to, to new heights you know your connection with the divine is so much stronger you have the strength to see this through divine feminines you're very much in your queen energy um and you've worked hard to get there spirit is saying you've worked hard to be this queen you know it's not been easy for you but you are very much there, like you're not being knocked off your throne now because this this offer of love is coming in and you know it and to get that offer of love you need to stay in your queen energy. Page of Wands, there is definitely communication coming in very very soon. Um, don't let other people's opinions knock you off balance. Um, don't let negativity affect you because your divine masculine is returning home to you. So make sure you rest. I'm hearing that the full moon is going to be completely transformational. There's going to be something magical that happens around the full moon. Um, this moon cycle has been 
a lot lighter than the last moon cycle but has also brought about a lot for this connection um but yeah this this full moon is going to be going to be big for you both so um do let me know if anything like interesting happens okay and then lastly we're just going to pull some messages so firstly i'm being asked to pull messages for the divine masculines from their divine feminines so divine feminines what do you have to say to your divine masculine i want to kiss you this one be blessed on this winding journey home i will dance with you forever in this life i want you in my arms i'll be with you soon i promise the last one i feel your energy day and night so Divine Masculines, your Divine Feminines want to know how much they miss you, they love you, they do want to kiss you and be with you. and um, They know that you're on this winding journey home, they're sending you all their blessing and love. Um, they want to be with you forever and they know that you two are going to be, be together soon. So um, Divine Masculines, don't worry about how long it takes to get home, they're just happy that you're on your way. Divine Feminines are really feeling their Divine Masculines energy at the moment, um, all the ups and downs. Okay, let's see divine feminines what messages do we have from your divine masculines divine masculines you're being asked to clear your energy no other way around divine feminines you are being asked to clear your energy i am so close you don't even know it so divine feminines clear this energy and you're going to feel your divine masculine close to you and you're going to feel so much more reassured about what is going on realign your thoughts have faith, we planned this before we were born. When I follow my heart, it leads me to you. And one final message from the Divine Masculines. I forgive you. So if there has been something that you've been asking for forgiveness with, you are forgiven. This could be this life, past life, previous relationship, anything that's happened between you, you are forgiven. Um, Divine Masculines want you to keep faith, realign your thoughts so that you are more kind of like aligned to union keep the energy clear so don't let any negativity build up um you know that's i'm sure i said that earlier in this reading about keeping the energy clear so that you you know you are ready for union um and the divine masculines i'm hearing are a lot closer than you realize hopefully that's been helpful do follow me on instagram because that is where i post my daily readings i don't tend to do many video check-ins just due to kind of work taking up a lot of time um but hopefully this has been helpful.